would like to introduce Najma Brown, attorney Najma Brown of the African American Muslim Insight College. Come on, Najma. I don't know why they have me going after entertainment and Umar. Um, Mo was amazing, by the way. <laughs> um, thank you, Umar, for the introduction. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Um, I lived in the Middle East for several years, and I could talk about my driving stories there. And I have, well, I'm going to share one story. I know I don't have much time, but I remember I was in Kuwait, and I remember there was a sign that used to be under, like, the freeway, like, you know, the underpass. And it would say, like, your driving shows your civilization. <laughs> and I would be like, but everyone's trying to kill each other. So I was just like, <laughs> but I never experienced um, crazy driving like I did when I was in Egypt and India. So, um, so yeah, I am here to talk about the African American Muslim Insight Council. And when Umar asked me to give a few words, I had writer's block and no idea what I wanted to share. Then I had my aha moment and the word testimony came to my heart. I am the testimony for what MPAC was looking to accomplish by establishing this council. You guys quiet down, you're loud in the back. Thank you. MPAC was seeking to play a more significant role in building important voices and providing opportunities for a broader spectrum of Muslims in America. In September of 2020, Umar Katrina Hassan Hamilton, Imam Tariq Akhil, and myself founded the council. Later joined by Khalud Madani and Imam Abu Qadir El Amin. The council's mission was to advise MPAC in regards to its internal governance as well as its public understanding of policies that impact African American Muslim communities. From the inception of the council, MPAC has worked to ensure that African American Muslim voices are represented and included in their outreach and advocacy. Some examples are during the highest peaks of the pandemic, MPAC stood in solidarity with African American brothers and sisters during the George Floyd protest and offered a statement of solidarity. Also, our advisory council member Katrina Hamilton was featured in the Muslim Journal, which is a national African American Muslim publication. MPAC also accepted applicants from the black Muslim community as part of their 2021 Congressional Leadership Development Program. Also, MLK Day 2021, MPAC stood together with the African American Voices and delivered a message of solidarity for health, security, and protection. Through its Hollywood Bureau, MPAC is a catalyst to uplift the American Muslim narrative in the movie industry by providing coaches and learning labs for black writers. Lastly, but not least, my final example is me. I am the testimony. I am also a board member for IMPAC, which um, I joined this year. So that's amazing. Everybody clap. <laughs> <laughs> and I look forward to meeting you all. So this is my introduction to the community. The relationship between IMPAC, Umar, and Courage in the Council has bridged communities and allowed MPAC to recruit talented and skillful African-American Muslims to strengthen MPAC's infrastructure. MPAC having such a council is necessary and invaluable. Together we can advance our mission of creating a more inclusive and pluralistic society that is enriched by the contributions of us all, regardless of our nationality, ethnicity, race, socioeconomic status. I mentioned earlier about the Congressional Leadership Development Program. I also want to highlight that MPAC is recruiting students for this program. 
And you don't just have to be a Muslim student. So we want you guys to spread the word. And we're encouraging more students to join because it brings more awareness to what MPAC is doing. Please let us know if you have any interest. Again, I'm honored to be a part of the community and looking forward to working with you all. And thank you and have a great evening. Thank you.